G'day YouTube, it's Marty from Music Video Muster. Today I want to show you the DVDs that I just picked up at the op shop right after this animation. Welcome back to the channel where we believe that music is better on DVD. Every now and again I like to go to the op shop which is Aussie for Goodwill Store and have a look at what they've got. There is a local op shop in my area which has a really, really great selection of DVDs and they sell them for just a dollar each. So I'm very grateful to Lifeline, shout out. Today when I was in the shop, I found something like 10 or 11 DVDs that I thought were a good deal. Now this is not the kind of video that I usually do, but let's give it a shot. All right, the first DVD that I want to talk about is REM Road Movie. It looks kind of crummy and old, but the disc is in reasonable condition and I can polish out some of the surface scratches in the disc. By the way, if you want to see how I polish my discs, then I'll put a link to that video. This DVD seems to be a live concert from 1996 and yeah, early REM maybe. All right, next DVD that I found, The Beatles. This is uh, The Beatles Down Under, 1964, Australia and New Zealand. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be any good. It looks like uh, a B-grade documentary but it's still new in the original plastic wrap, so I'll probably put this on eBay. Next up, Woodstock, Three Days of Peace, Love and Music. So I've been looking for this DVD for a while now, and I haven't really found it at a price that I think is reasonable. One dollar is very reasonable. That's going on my shelf. The Cure, Greatest Hits. I actually acquired a copy of this recently, uh, the disc was in good condition, but the case was totally trashed. So I threw the case in the bin, I held onto the disc for a little while, and I thought, when I can get a replacement, I'll replace it. And today I found a nice, clean copy, which is very unusual, actually, to find DVDs that aren't dusty and grimy from the op shop. The disc is perfect. So... Yeah, very happy with this find. I'm not a huge fan of The Cure, but this is very collectible for me because it's the music videos. Next up, found a double disc, Woodstock The Music. So I think this is another good item to have in the collection. It's DTS Surround Sound, which is a bonus. As for the item itself, this is a cardboard O-ring and there's not a scratch on it. I doubt whether this has ever been played, so very happy to pick this one up. Next, I've got a copy of Pink Floyd, The Wall. Absolute classic. I love Pink Floyd and I love this movie. I already have a copy of this, so this one's going onto eBay. The case is a bit yellowed, but I got plenty of spare cases I can swap out for this. The disc itself. It's pretty good. There's a few surface scratches in there, but I can buff them out. Even if I only get a couple of bucks on eBay to cover postage and make, you know, um, a little bit on that, I'll be very happy. Okay, so the next one, this caught my eye. I'm not sure if it's a documentary or a concert or something else, but it's called Year of the Horse and it's Neil Young and Crazy Horse and also Jim Jarmusch. I don't even know who that is. But um, yeah, it could be good. Could be interesting. It's uh, fairly good condition. I don't think I'll watch this, but I'll put it on eBay. All right, next up, Emerson, Lake and Palmer live at Montreux in 1997. This is a band that I really don't know that much about, but they keep popping up when I'm reading blogs and forums and things about surround sound. So I think this is the kind of band that 
does a lot with surround sound and high res audio releases. So I might check it out or I might put it up for sale. I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah, I think I need to learn more about this band. All right, the next item I found is called Wake Up Screaming. And this one seems to be a documentary about the Vans Warped Tour. Um, I'm not sure how much music is on it, but uh, it says on the front here, music performances by Hawthorne Heights, uh, Bleed the Dream, Strike Anywhere, No FX. I've only really heard of No FX, so it's probably very punky. Punk's not really a genre that I got into so much, but um, this one's also brand new, still in the original wrapping. All right, we've also got Cold Chisel, and this one is called The Live Tapes, Volume 1. Cold Chisel is an Australian band. I recently posted a video about my favorite Australian music DVDs, and Cold Chisel was on there, so I'll try to link to that video as well. Um, yeah, it's okay. The cover is a bit dirty, so I'll clean that up. The disc, if it's got a few scratches in it, I can certainly buff those out. And I don't think I'll hold on to this one. I'll put it onto eBay, but I thought that was a good And last but not least, I found finally a copy of Radiohead Meeting People is Easy. This one really caught my eye. It's so easy to spot with that bright blue spine. I have a copy of this from years and years ago, but with moving house multiple times, the case somehow got lost. I still have the disc and I've been meaning to replace it. Today I can replace it, so I'm super happy. The case is really grubby here, so I'm gonna have to take care cleaning it up, but um, yeah, this is great. It's not every day that you can go to the op shop and find Radiohead for a dollar. Okay guys, that was it. That was a very quick video to share my haul with you today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to the channel. So let me know in the comments if you also like going to op shops or Goodwill stores to go shopping for music. And until the next time I see you, take care, enjoy watching your music. See ya.